Hi! In part one of my craft room remodel and organization tour, I showed you my craft room and all the open storage. In this video, I'm going to open up every drawer and door and show you what's inside, as well as the products I use to create my videos and take great photos. That's right, I'm going to open up every drawer and door. I'm Shelley Godby, the owner and CEO of Stamping Smiles, and for 22 years, I've been teaching others how to create their own hand stamp smiles. If that thought makes you shudder, well, I'm excited because I'm going to show you the products that made it so easy for me to get so organized. In part one of my craft room remodel and organization tour, I gave you a close up of all of the different areas of my craft room. For part two, I said I was gonna open up all the doors and drawers. We'll start over here. Underneath all my annual catalog stamp sets, I have the four drawers that contain card kits and paper pumpkin. And I've got a couple special stamps here. I love stamping up. I've been a demonstrator for 22 years, so I've got some pretty cool stuff. And this one, well, God bless America. Uh, this was after 9-11, Stampin' Up! made that stamp. Demonstrators, we sold it and we didn't earn a penny, which was an honor because all the proceeds went to the 9-11 fund. And so then we just keep opening these up and finding paper pumpkin kits. A lot of them, um, some have been done, just not all of them. So we're just keeping everything organized until they all get done. And down here, some card kits and another paper pumpkin. So we're going to move over here. In this drawer, I have all kinds of plastic Ziploc bags of different sizes, keeping me nicely organized. Look at that easy to find the different sizes that I want. And then this is a very special drawer. Uh, this is the envelope for the card that I got when I reached my 1 million in sales that Stampin' Up! specially designed for me. And my pins as we led up to that. But for every 100,000 you get a special pin. And then for the million, it was a different style. And then we just got this um, card folio, I guess you'd call it. Can't think of the right word right now. For the 1 million sales retreat that's coming up. Very special drawer. All right. And so then now we're getting into retired stamp sets. I've got a good bit listed, but I need to get more. I'm trying to hold on to this. Here we go. Let's do that without getting my fingers in the way. And I have been wanting them all in the same room. They weren't until the remodel. And then in this drawer, cellophane bags. You're gonna see this when I go over top, the six by eight cellophane bags. They have a lot of uses. The one way you're gonna see it used in this room, I use them to organize my card scraps. I have one for every color. So before I start cutting up an eight and a half by 11 sheet, I go ahead and look through the scraps first. And so here are all of my different excess coloring tools, extra um, ink refills and markers. And, and so you're gonna see a lot of these plastic containers. Oh my goodness, love them. They have little feet on the bottom so they're not scooting all over the drawer, keeping me very organized. And then more stamp sets and punches and eyes and more. I've got quite a lot, as time permits, that I'll get listed. I have a lot listed, but I need to get a lot more. All right. In this drawer, my adhesives. Look at this. Again, these plastic containers in a lot of different sizes have come in so handy. And so I've got all of this by my crafting area, but, you know, this is the extra. Because you get going on a project, you want to have more on hand. And a drawer of retired punches that need to be listed. And this is exciting. I've got so much organizational space in your storage. I've got an empty drawer. Actually, I have two. What's in this one? Well, these are the bins, the acrylic bins that I'm using, and you'll see in just a bit for my cardstock scraps. 
and some other things, but very, very nice. So what I need to do is show you over top, but let me go ahead and, because they're pretty high up here, let me go ahead and open all of them and then come back and show you. So we'll go from right to left again. And so this is the cupboard over my annual catalog stamp sets. And this is a good place for overflow for things I don't get into terribly often. My empty, many marvelous markers case because all my markers are organized in my ink storage and a label maker and some tools. All right, so we come over here and this is where I have, and these two, my scraps are stored in those bins I just showed you. And I have them in the same order as I have my eight and a half by 11 cardstock from left to right. You know, I've got my neutrals, my subtles, my brights, my regals. And, and then in both of those, I have my in colors and the basics and some bags I just didn't want to give up. They have all stamp up logos on them, some canvas bags. I know I'm gonna be able to use them for something. And then over here, um, a couple more card kits and some organizational notepads and things from Stampin' Up. And I've got another one of those bins with, I've made most of the projects, uh, the cards and the birthday card organize, organi organizer kit, but I need to take that down and finish it. So that's what I did above. And so next, that closet, we're gonna open it. It hasn't been remodeled yet, but I wanna show you what's inside. My closet has been turned into my shipping center and photo booth. And so we still need to do some work in here. I told him I want some shelves. In particular, what I want is I need it lower for my light box. You can take pictures from the top and that's pretty tall for me even to get the camera on there and see what I'm doing. But look how all of these boxes and envelopes are together. Things were in the basement and I was constantly running up and down stairs, you know, bringing either just one box and needing to go back down and get more or bringing up too many. So it was a lot of trips. Not that I don't need the exercise, but I really wanted everything together. And then also in here, I'm able to store my table for crafting with friends but uh, and doing my videos that you see as well as some lights and all that. So in the first video, you saw a table that was set up all the time. Well, I got one that'll fold up and away. And so I can just walk in my room without anything in my way because I don't need that all the time. So now for my office organization, would you like to see what's up here first? All right, let's do that. Let's open the door and lots of wonderful storage. I use the scales a lot, my tape, so a lot of good mailing stuff. And on the second shelf, catalogs and mailing labels, all that good stuff. And again, more of these plastic containers with tape, bubble wrap envelopes, and then extras and more of the plastic or acrylic containers, keeping me so organized. And in this, oh, I'm loving this drawer. I'm always using my calculator, so it's right there for me to grab, keeping myself organized. And then these little plastic containers came in so handy. And this one I end up stacking. I don't use Post-it notes all the time, but look how well they stacked in this shallow drawer. So very, very nicely organized. All right, so I'm excited to show you what's in this next one. Here we go. So you can see what all's there, notebook. And these dividers, so things aren't sliding. So they come in different sizes and they're adjustable. And then there's adhesive that you'd hear, but it's clear. And so you put that on and their instructions and how to get it off. You just, they said a hair dryer. I'm sure we'd use our heat tool and they gave you a lot of extras. So those are so nice. So all that's not just sliding all around, making a big mess. And down here I have printer paper. I've got room for more. I'm sure I'll be filling all this up. <laughs> that's never a problem. So let's go look at my craft area next. 
So this is my craft table with all the wonderful storage I never had before. Oh boy, am I enjoying it. So let's start with the bottom drawers and we'll start on the right size. And in the first drawer, oh, nice and long, all of this adhesive that's right at my fingertips. And I have this in one of those long bins, the long clear storage, really love those. Another one with adhesive, uh, Stampin' Up! used to carry. We don't have any more, but I keep using. And some, you know, tear and tape and things in back. And my stamping sleeves, of course I need these uh, close by. My mom and I came up with those to prevent ink smudges from getting all over our cars. Just one quick swipe. <laughs> and it eliminates that problem. In this drawer, more of the wonderful storage. Um, scissors and punches and tools. And bone folders, a ruler. I always have a ruler close by, and it is now. Instead of sitting on top, it's right here, so nice and neat. Stampin' spritzers and sponge daubers and take your pick tool and all of that. All these tools right here. And in this drawer, oh boy, I really like this drawer. Okay, so in here I have my paper trimmer, my Stampin' scrub and mist, my Simply Chamois underneath in a plastic case. Uh, the Stampin' Mist stays on cleaner. The holder that is holding my blending brushes and my mini and more cleaner. And my Stamparatus, I have more than one. Love how easy it is for me to get all of this out, but keep my work area clean. All right, so let's go look at this drawer over here. This one excites me. I never had anything for like this before. Every month I make a card for those who place at least a $50 or more Stampin' Up! order with me and have a card of the month. And before all this had to stay out on top in my way, now I'm just putting everything aside. The stamps, cardstock that's cut and ready, my sample, and others that are ready to go. I can't tell you how much that makes me happy. And again, these nice bins. So I can just pick this up. I can just either work from there or take it out and put it back. In this drawer, my envelopes. Now, I did have that plastic container, if you saw, and, and these were always in there. And so my return address labels, stamps, more envelopes. Let's see. There we go. So having all that, because that's why I sit there and make out the cards. And talking about cards, look at this. We all have a lot of these, don't we? <laughs> cards that are made up and ready to go. And it's so nice to be able to sort through. And these bins, can you see they have dividers in them? So that's really nice. Instead of just all um, in one big one, it's keeping them separated and standing up. And they were a little bit smaller in those big bins, so I was able to get three in here very, very easily. Very, very pleased with that. So now let's go see what's in the top. In my ink storage, I was showing you how I have room for a lot of clear mount blocks. That's where most of them are, but not all of them because you need some that are larger. And so right here, so nice and close. These are for the big background stamps. And then sometimes we get a nice long one. And then I have a lot of duplicates. If I'm stamping, I don't want to have to take it off and use it, you know, with more than one. I just have one for every stamp. I recommend that. I don't like getting dirty, <laughs> even though I have my stamping sleeves. And here are some coloring tools, the, the embossing paste and pastels and watercolor pencils. Very, very nice. And up here, well, more of the tools. Stamp Up retires a lot of things. I don't necessarily get rid of them. You know, the envelope punch and, oh, we've got um, silicone mat, stamp and pierce mat. So these tools that I don't get into as often are right here, but still close by. And then as we come over here, this top drawer, I've got all of my embossing stuff in there. So my heat tool, my embossing powders, nicely organized, and the embossing toolkit. All right. This drawer, embellishments, and room for more. Of course, in one of the plastic storage, but look how easy I can just look through. 
can see what we have. And those are from the mini. So I like to keep them separated. And these are from the annual catalog, another one of the storage that I can flip through. And I, like I said, I can pick that up, take it out, and more embellishments are already in the little plastic containers. All right, we showed you that. So next we'll move over to that raised area. This section of my craft room, well, it's a six foot countertop raised to kitchen countertop height. And this is where I do all of my die cutting and paper cutting, so I have to bend over. And so my stamp and cut emboss machine, I have that shelf, I pick it up and use it. And look what I have in this first drawer. All of my plates for die cutting. So these are the, the regular sandwich ones you always need to grab, especially plate underneath here. I've got the plates for the mini that's behind my stamp and cut on that shelf. And then extra plates because you just never know when you'll need more. And another one of these wonderful dividers so everything isn't sliding around. And then my embossing folders by size, the six by six. And then for the mini. And another little bin of washi tape so I can hold dies down when necessary. A scraper stamp up used to carry because we get things, you know, sometimes it sticks to the cutting plate. And then my little spell binders. I, I did a video with this. Love it. Um, whatever, if I, you know, especially like for my card of the month or if I'm doing a bunch, the die holds onto there and keeps it in place. And I know exactly where to find it and I'm not losing little ones. There we go love how that has me so organized and then oh uh, yeah more retired punches i'm sure that need to be listed and most of this over here we're going to find more retired stamp sets punches and dies and like i said this makes me so happy that everything's together so we'll move over into the center There we go. And in each drawer, I have them alphabetized. So if someone emails me asking if I've got a retired stamp set or they find one on my list, it's easy for me to find. All right. So let's come up to this drawer. My ribbon. Remember these nice long ones? Yeah, that nice long, keeping it all so organized. These are all from the annual catalog. Then over here from the minis. And so a nice big drawer for all of these embellishments, ribbon and uh, mostly ribbon, but ribbon embellishments for a mini catalog. Over here, my simply scored scoring tool and the grid paper nice to stamp on and then you've got the lines to line up and then more retired stamp sets dies and punches if you're getting an idea i need to get a lot more listed i sure do as time permits i've got quite a few listed <laughs> but more more need to be done for sure and so that's what's stored in my raised tabletop craft area now for the tools for my business. So in my closet, you saw my black folding table and chair. And this is so nice. It doesn't take up the room that that other one I had in the first video, if you saw it. It was in my before uh, photos. And so, but I like that I can take it down and I've got a clear shot right to my desk. All right. And, uh, and I really like my little stool to sit on. It folds up and goes away. Isn't that cute? And then a microphone. A very nice microphone. A sure microphone. And, and then this contraption. Well, this is a floor mount. All right. So when I tried using a tabletop one, my table shook. And so, of course, then the camera and I didn't want to make everyone seasick or me when editing so I got this one and then my camera fits in here and I'm over top and you need an o-ring for your videos and pictures all right so let's come over here and so this is how I store my dies this is a photo box I used one for years and years 
you know, it's just a sturdy cardboard, but it held up all the time, up and down, up and down off of that shelf. And what I like about this is I can just go through, because sometimes I'm just thinking, oh, I want a label die, or I'm not sure what I want. So I can just scroll through. And then when I take the time, I have them labeled. Because sometimes you know the name of it, because you know the stamps that you're using, you want to go to it. So that's what I use my label maker for. And I need to do a lot more. And I put mine, I turn mine around so I can always see the name is on the back. But I don't cover mine up. I want to be able to see what they are. It's so like I said, so I can just do this. Go, oh, oh, there's a nice label, right? <laughs> and so I have a link to that. All right, and then my shot box. This is what I use to take my photos. So you can see it a lot better here. And LED lights. And so you turn that on, and you have, look at that. You put your project inside. And this holds my camera, so it's steady, because it's hard to hold the camera straight. And look, from the top, you can set your camera on there and take that straight down photo. And when you do that, they have these shields, these magnetic shields that go up and in. And so it prevents glare. It's magnetic and it clings on and that helps prevent the glare. All right. I don't know what I would do without my shop, shop box. I had to live without it for until a new power supply came for a few days and my pictures were whew, not so good. You get used to high quality. And this is an Archon mount. Boy, is that nice. So you can turn it however you want. This is turned for the, um, the part of the videos that you see me. And, uh, and this can hold your iPad so you could watch and see what you're doing because this will turn down. You turn and put it down. So now that I've got this sturdy work area, I could sit at my desk now and do my videos. I wouldn't have to sit at the chair. And I can't do this, but this will turn down. You turn the knobs, so I could be up and over. This would go up a whole lot higher than it is now. And right down, right where I'm working. Wouldn't that be nice? And so I've got another little light. Because sometimes you need, you know, I want to take a picture of the work area. Not everything can go into the box, so you still need some good light, and the LED will do that. And this I didn't show you earlier, but wow, am I loving this. This is just a power strip, but it has USB ports, where before I was having to string <laughs> a long cord across my whole room, so um, that was suggested to me, so I wasn't going to have to crawl under the table that I've got this power strip right there for my embossing and everything else. So there we go. The tools that I use to be able to create my videos and take great photos. And I'll have links to all of those products underneath the video. Thank you for taking part tour of the tour of my remodeled craft room and organization. If you missed the first video, I have a link to it underneath this video. And I invite you to subscribe to the Stampers Insider. It's your free stamping source for inspiration, information, and ideas. Just go now to www.thestampersinsider.com to subscribe. I'm Shelley Godby, teaching you how to create hand stamp smiles. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.